total weight, 452 pounds. On the right, from Lexington, Tennessee, Tommy Gilbert. And from Atlanta, Georgia, Carl Fergie. This match to the expiration of time. The referee is Jerry Calhoun. Okay, Carl and Guy have got those uh, AWA uh, belts on. Uh, this is not, however, a title match. Uh, I can't fault them for wearing the belts. If I were a champion, I'd wear my sure. belts too. But Let everybody uh, see them. Hey, some, I wish I even had any kind of belt on today. I think I forgot <laughs> my, Come to think of it. Okay, we're about ready to do it right now as the belts are over here. People get hurt now, Russell. Baby. Oh, sit down, Jimmy. God, nice. This guy can be persistent. Little time. Here we go. Big guy Mitchell, start great team against Tommy Gilbert. Mitchell out of Canada. Gilbert backs him on the rope. Tommy fires that forearm in there. Well, this Mitchell by himself weighs about 287 pounds. He is huge. Tommy Gilbert ducked under the fist. Gilbert off the rope. With the shoulder, put Mitchell on the mat. Goes immediately for a headlock. Over to the corner, tags his partner, and here is Carl Fergie. Gilbert. Gilbert. Back to the tag. Quick tag by Gilbert and Carl Fergie. Boy, if they can keep that up. And if they can keep Guy Mitchell away from the tag on his partner, Nature Boy Roger Kirby over here. They will have accomplished something in fact. Fergie. Get Guy Mitchell back. Tommy Gilbert with a headlock, but Guy Mitchell slowly moving him back toward his corner. Closer to the tag on Roger Kirby. There's Kirby. Kirby leads into the ring. Takes the tag through the rope. And the referee does not allow the tag. The tag, he says, has to be over the top rope. Oh, Gilbert jumps out of the way. And he's not going to be a tag immediately because Mitchell unloaded on Roger Kirby. Jimmy Hart around attending to him. While in the ring, Tommy Gilbert still has big guy Mitchell tied up in a headlock. Kirby climbing back up onto the ring apron. Mitchell over there is the tag. Tag made. Referee sends uh, Mitchell out. Roger Kirby in here. Gilbert. Kick Kirby back in the corner, but I think Tommy may have done something to his knee. Kirby goes to work on it. Roger Kirby going for the weakness. He saw Tommy limping back into to a neutral corner. He and this guy Mitchell both in there working on Tommy. Kirby working on the left knee. back outside now. Guy Mitchell goes to work on Gilbert's knee. Gilbert back into a corner and Guy Mitchell going after the left knee still. We're four minutes into the action. Four minutes gone in this first call of an expiration of time match. Tommy Gilbert made it to the corner. Here is Carl Fergie. 
Bergie having to take on both of them. Mitchell being escorted back to his corner by the referee, and Bergie fires Roger Kirby across the ring into the turnbuckle. There's the cover. Count of one is all called and makes sick on uh, Roger Kirby. Mitchell jumps in uninvited. He blasted Carl. Tommy Gilbert jumps in here to keep uh, Roger Kirby from taking advantage of the situation. Fergie goes back to the corner. Tommy Gilbert stays in there. Kirby off the road. Gilbert wisely to the corner. Cover by Fergie at a count of two, but Guy Mitchell is able to break it up at the two count. by Fergie, down at two on Roger Kirby. And again, that's all he can get before Guy Mitchell breaks it up. Five and a half minutes gone in the first ball. Rugged action. Guy Mitchell with a flip on Carl Fergie. He's got him on the mat now, working the face lock. It's like he's flipping a little uh, choke around, too. That's the pressure point all he's got now, referee. Checked it out. Pretty slammed into the turnbuckle by Big Guy Mitchell. Pretty blasted by Roger Kirby. Flips it back out center of the ring. And again, Mitchell working the pressure point on the left side. You know, Dave, uh, to give the devil his due, well, of course, he's got his foot on the rope. That tells me what I was referring to. But Mitchell, without the aid of the rope, probably applies that pressure hold on the side of the neck as well as anybody I've seen. He is so big, and you notice how he tucks the guys up under where he can lean down on top of that arm. He's in that body weight for the extra lever. Seven minutes gone. Seven minutes have expired in this first fall. Come on, Jerry, get him back. A virtual free-for-all in here right now. Kirby, Guy Mitchell, with her feet planted on Carl Fergie. And Kirby choking him. Now Mitchell from out on the floor. Pulls Carl under the bottom rope. Tommy Gilbert starts over there to try to help Fergie out. Referee trying to get him back out on the apron. Carl headed for the tag, but couldn't quite make it as Roger Kirby intercepted it. Gunner by Fergie, but Mitchell got him from behind. Here comes Kirby. Now Mitchell steps in. Eight minutes gone. We have had action all the way in this first ball, let me tell you. Fergie, whoa, slammed into the turnbuckle. Hit hard, bounces out of there. Guy Mitchell picks him up. Roger Kirby, double slam into the turnbuckle. Tommy Gilbert had watched all of that, he could stand. He jumped right in there, goes after Kirby. Guy Mitchell picking up Carl Fergie. He's calling for Roger. Roger is, uh, meanwhile, over there working on Tommy Gilbert. Oh, the king jumps into the ring. Jerry Lawler. And Fergie's got a cover on Roger Kirby. The referee starts the count. Three, Fergie. Nine minutes, one second. Carl Fergie, Tommy Gilbert. Get a win in the first fall as Lawler was in there to help out. But the referee was tied up over in the corner. He did not see Lawler in there. He would have 
stop that match immediately. Boy, look at Hart scream. He's oh. hollering at the referee about Lawler. Can you imagine? Here's a guy that's jumped into the ring, uninvited, not supposed to be there a thousand times, snuck in, snuck out. He is, he's going to break down and cry to referee Jerry. Calhoun's trying to ignore him. He keeps trying to walk away from him, and uh, Hart just blistering him over there because a little turnabout being fair play in there, my friend. What the referee saw was, of course, Tommy Gilbert's knee had been messed up in the match earlier in there. Kirby took him over there and had him hooked in where all the weight was on that knee, and the referee was trying to help him get out of it. Hey, they could see what happened. I'm sorry about that, Jim. I'm not your referee. Bye-bye. Jimmy Hart still moaning and screaming. Mitchell helping Kirby out in there. Kirby with his neck hurt and his back hurt, and I kind of liked it. I'm going to take time out. We'll be back in a minute with more wrestling action.